everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this lovely baby bonnet and uh, the supplies we are using today are uh, Baby by Hirschner's. It's a uh, baby cloud soft yarn and we are using one full skein of this so that is 129 yards. If you can't get this specific yarn, you can get a fine yarn, size 2 uh, yarn and um, if you are unable to get this exact yarn you can go to yarnsub.com and find out uh, where to get something as fine as this this super soft yarn this is so super soft and this would be perfect for any baby so uh, yeah you can get that but we're using 129 yards we're using one full skein of this for this project uh, you may need a tad more if your tension is a little looser than mine but I used one full skein also we are using an eye size hook which is five and a half millimeters so you can have that handy as well as a yarn needle and scissors because we will be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends so we'll need those as well before I get started, I do want to mention, check out all the links in the description of this video. I will have a link to my blog where you can find out where to get the written pattern for this project. There's also a link to my Facebook. Join me there. And if you make this or uh, make any of my projects, be sure to share your photos and get inspiration from other crocheters as well on the Facebook. Our community is growing so fast and I just love it. So you guys are great. Also, check out uh, the Instagram. Make sure to uh, follow me on Instagram. Instagram, like my photos and if you post a photo on Instagram be sure to hashtag yarn utopia so that I can see your work also follow me on snapchat my username is in the description of this video and uh, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and go to my channel and click the support button you can support us so we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet tutorials but without further ado let's just get started in making this beautiful bonnet all right, to start off, we need to make a slip knot, but we want to have a long strand of yarn uh, to sew in the end. So I'm going to make this about 15 inches long, and then I'm going to put this uh, strand over the top of my long strand that's attached to the ball of yarn, just like that, and then fold that down, and then pull that strand through and pull tight. Okay, so I just made a slip knot, but I have a long strand for sewing later. Okay, so then insert your hook, pull tight, and we are ready to go. Okay, to start off, we want to chain 21, so yarn over and pull through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And now in the second chain from the hook and across, we are going to single crochet. So the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything, so count one and two. And right here, we are working in the second chain. But what I like to do is turn my work toward me like this and work in these back ridges here. Okay, so these back ridges, we're gonna work in those back ridges. So just insert your hook right into that second chain, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. That is a single crochet. So go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Single crochet. So we're just gonna put one single crochet into each chain all the way across and that you will have a total of 20 chains at the end or I'm sorry 20 um, single crochets at the end of this row so I'll just do that and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row number two together all right so this is what your work should look like we just single crocheted across this row so now chain up one so just yarn over and pull through turn your work so you're looking at it like this and now we are going to put a half double crochet into this very first stitch right here. So yarn over once, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through. So you have three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Okay, that's a half double crochet. So now in this next stitch, we are going to put one of our puff stitches. And our puff stitch is very large, so we are going to yarn over, go into the stitch, 
yarn over, pull through, and you kind of want to pull up a little bit extra. Then yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, pull up. So now you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through. You have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. You have nine loops on your hook, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through. So now you have 11 loops on your hook. You are going to yarn over and pull through all 11 loops, just like that. And then you're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch for a half double crochet. So we're going to go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook, like that. Okay, so there's our puff stitch looking thing. Okay, so now we're going to repeat just those two stitches alternating. So in this next stitch, we're going to have a puff stitch. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. There's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. There's five loops. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. There's seven loops. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. There's nine loops. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. There's 11 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all 11 loops. And then half double crochet in the next stitch. Just like that. Again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. That is seven, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, nine, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, eleven, yarn over and pull through all eleven loops, and then half double crochet in the next. So just do that all the way across and I will meet you up and we'll go on to row three together. Alright, so I'm just finishing this row and there's two stitches left here. So we did a puff stitch and then you have two stitches left. We're going to half double crochet in both of those. So just put, just end with a half double crochet. Okay, for row two. So just put a half double crochet in those last two stitches like that. So this is what our work looks like. You can see these puff stitches. Okay, so now row uh, three, we're going to chain up one, turn our work, and we are going to basically just um, repeat what is uh, the stitches below. So we are going to put a half double crochet in this first stitch and a half double crochet in the next stitch and then a puff stitch in the next stitch. So puff stitch, three, five, seven, nine, and eleven loops and then yarn over, pull through all eleven loops and then half double crochet in the next stitch and then puff in the next three, five, seven, nine, and eleven loops. Yarn over, pull through all eleven, and then half double crochet in the next. Okay, and then puff in the next, and half double in the next, and just repeat that all the way across, and I'll meet you up at the end of this row, and we'll go on to the next row together. All right, so uh, I just put a half double crochet in that last stitch there. So it's a puff stitch and then a half double crochet. And now uh, we want to go on to the next row, row four. So chain up one, turn your work. And we're basically just repeating um, what we did for row one. So uh, put a half double crochet in this first stitch right here. Or, I'm sorry, row two. Uh, we're repeating the first puff stitch row, I guess. So one half double crochet in the beginning, then a puff stitch in the next. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven loops, and yarn over, pull through all eleven, and then half double crochet in the next, and just basically alternate those two stitches across. So we're just repeating rows t uh, two and three for the rest of this pattern until this is, let's see, eight, nine, eleven, until this is approximately 15 inches long. And then once this is 15 inches long, 
um, we will do the outer edge of this and make it all pretty and then finish up. So just repeat rows 2 and 3 for the rest of this pattern until it is 15 inches long. I'll let you know what rows I end on or how many rows I do to make it 15 inches for my um, tension but um, then you can do the same. It's also going to be in the written pattern so you can see that as well on the blog but I'm just gonna continue working this pattern and I will meet you up when I'm finished making this 15 inches long all right at this point I uh, just finished this is um, about 15 inches long here um, about 14 15 inches there and you want to end on an odd number row okay so I ended on row 31 um, but you want to end on any odd row that yours uh, you know that measures 15 inches and you want to end on the row you see the straggler at the beginning here uh, our our slip slip knot from the very beginning here you want to end on a row that is on this side okay so I finished row 31 and this is how long it looks so now going on to row 32 we are just going to single crochet across so just insert your hook chain up one of course and then single crochet across just insert your hook pull through yarn over pull through two go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so that's a single crochet so we're just basically repeating row one for the very last row and this is row 32 for me so we're just gonna single crochet across and then once we get to the very end I'll show you here we're gonna single crochet down the side as well because this is the front of our piece so in the last uh, corner stitch this very last stitch here we're gonna put two single crochet in there and then turn our work like this so we're looking at it long ways and we're going to just single crochet down the side of our bonnet here just like this okay so basically wherever your hook fits on this edge is where you want to um, put a single crochet. So I'm just going to single crochet along this edge and then once I get to the very end here I'll show you how to fasten off and we will make the, uh, we'll sew up the back and then make the tassels. Alright so I'm just finishing up here and in the very end you want to just put your uh, slip stitch in the beginning foundation chain here. So you see that right there. We're just going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through pull tight. Then to fasten off I like to just chain up one and cut my yarn and pull that all the way through and pull tight. And then take my yarn needle and sew that in. So yarn my needle and then sew that in underneath some of the stitches. Just like that. And then pull it tight and then stretch it out and then cut whatever straggler is left. So now your piece looks like this. Okay, so this is the front here where we just single crocheted down that side and this is the back here. So what we're gonna do is fold this in half. Okay, and then we're gonna take our yarn needle, we're gonna take our long straggler that we had in the beginning of this project when we made our slip knot, we had the long straggler. We're going to use that to sew this back up. So you fold this in half. So the single crochet row that we just finished off on is on this side. So we're going to sew up this back on this side right here. So you can sew it as a whip stitch or you can do a mattress stitch like me. And the mattress stitch is just going in from the inside out. So on this side going inside out, coming back inside out. And then going back inside out and then coming back inside out so we're just doing that all the way up this piece and um, I'm gonna do that 
where wherever the needle really fits is where you want to sew it. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll, I'll meet you up when I fasten off, and then we'll make that tassel, or the, the tie, and then we'll be finished. All right, so I'm just finishing up here, and once you get to this point right here, we are going to fasten off, and what I usually do is just go around, sort of like a whip stitch, and then I make a loop, and then I just go around the loop and make a knot. And I do that a couple of times, just to be on the safe side. And then I just sew in my end underneath some of the stitches. Just like that. Okay, and then I, any extra straggler, I'm just going to stretch that out. Okay, any extra straggler, I can just trim. Okay, so this is what our bonnet looks like. This is the back. Okay, this is the front where the face is going to be. Okay, so it's like a hood. It's like a little pixie, pixie hood like that. Okay, so now we want to uh, make a little chain here and put it around this bottom edge here and then have the tassels come down the front. So, oh, that is so cute. We can stretch this up to kind of make it more pixie style, like that. That's so cute. So, get your yarn, and let's see here. I'm going to chain 100. Okay, with the eye hook, we're going to just start with a slip knot, put your short end over the long end, fold that down, and pull that tight. Pull that tight, there we go, and then chain 100. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not gonna make you watch all 100, so just uh, do 100 chains and then I'll meet you up when I finish doing that. All right, once you chain 100, um, I'm just gonna chain an extra one and then cut my yarn and then pull that all the way through and pull tight. Okay, so that is secure. And now you want to take your yarn needle and take the that straggler that you just cut off, kind of yarn your needle, and then we're going to put it around this edge, this bottom edge of the uh, bonnet here. Okay, so you can see here, this is the front, the uh, the um, where we sewed up this bottom edge here is where we're gonna kind of weave this in and you want to weave this in starting from the outside and working along row two here okay this is row two where these puff stitches are so just go in and out every two stitches I would say like you're gonna skip the half double crochet and the puff stitch and go half double crochet puff stitch then half double crochet puff stitch half double crochet puff stitch just like that every two stitches I would weave this through Oops, and you don't need to weave it all the way through we want to have tassels so or like long tails so don't weave it all the way through but just enough to get around this piece. Okay, and then skip over the back seam here. Right there, and just go around the stitches. Just like that. From row, this is row two of our project here or our very, or row 31 on mine. So it's row two and row 31 because we sewed them back together. And it's probably confusing, so never mind. There we go. And then coming back out, you want to end on the outside like we started out on the outside. So they're both even. And then you want to make sure that they are even like this. I'm gonna pull this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Oops, I have to pull this a little bit. 
Okay, once they are even, you can cut your strands a little shorter, your straggler strands. Okay, just like that, and there you have it. Your little pixie bondage is all done. That is so lovely and so cute, and you can shape it the way you want. You could block this piece. Mine's a little staticky, so I'm going to definitely need to soften it up with something staticky. But there you have it, your little pixie bonnet. So this is so then it'll sit on the baby like a hood. Face will be right here, and the tassels will be down here like that. So there you have it. Our pixie bonnet is done. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this adorable piece. I love this color too. Such a bright orange color. So thank you again for watching. Make sure to check out those links in the description of this video. I'll have the link to the blog where you'll find out where to get the written pattern for this project. Along uh, with that link, there's a link to my Facebook so you can join me on Facebook. And if you make this or make any of my projects, be sure to share your photos on Facebook. And also uh, you can get inspiration from other crocheters as well on the Facebook and, uh, you know, just see all the awesome pictures everybody's posting. Also, check out Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and like my photos. And if you post a photo on Instagram, be sure to hashtag YarnUtopia so that I can see your fabulous work. Also, follow me on Snapchat. My username is in the description of this video. You can follow me everywhere, Tumblr and Twitter and all the cool places. Also, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Um, and also, there's one thing I'd like you to do, <laughs> and is, that is to go to my channel here on YouTube, and on the right-hand side, there's a blue button that says support us. Be sure to click that, support us, so that we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet tutorials. And lastly, I do want to thank my dad, Fuad Asmuch, for taking the time out to make this video with us. Thanks so much, everybody. Happy hooking!